Alright, so today we're going to implement running in UDK. I got a simple level open. Yeah. And got the Kismet open. So, I'm going to zoom in here because I got some other things going on on the other sides. So, first thing first, let's bring in all of the things we need. <clears throat> so, we're going to get a key button pressed event from new event input key button pressed that's our starting point then we're going to get a new condition comparison compare bool which if you're not sure compare bool is uh, comparing a true false value then we're going to get two set bools which is in new action set variable boolean we're just going to copy and paste that one. And then we're going to get two console commands, which are new action, miscellaneous, console command. And again, we're just going to copy and paste it. We're going to go ahead and connect them all up. Let's connect press to in on the compare bool. True goes to the bottom path. Out goes to in, false goes to the top path, out goes to in. Then we need to get a couple of booleans, which is a new variable boolean. Copy and paste that guy. Copy and paste it again. Connect them up to the values. And we're going to change the top one to be true or one. And then we bring these targets over to here. And then the last thing we need to get is new variable player player. And we're going to copy and paste that again. And we're connecting that to our console commands. And let's change some settings. So in the key button pressed, we're going to input names, we're going to click the green plus and add in a capital Z. That sets it so that it looks for the Z key to be pressed. And we're going to make sure max trigger count is set to zero, which tells that this can happen infinite many times. Then on the top console command, we're going to add in a, the command set speed three with capital S which will set your speed to three times the normal and then in the bottom console command we're going to do set speed one which will set it back to normal speed so if we're looking at this what it says is when you press the Z key it compares it to this boolean and if it's true it comes down to the bottom path and sets the speed back to one and then it sets this boolean false. And then when you press the key again, it looks, and since it's false, it comes up to the top path. It sets this boolean back to true, and it sets the speed to three. So this is a little bit different from the standard run in most games where you have to hold down a key. Uh, this means when you press the Z key, you'll start running. When you press it again, you'll stop running. So let's take a look at that in practice. As you can see, now I'm running, now I'm walking. Now I'm running, now I'm walking. And there you go, that's how you make your character run in UDK.